hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this video tutorial we will talk about event binding in angular event binding basically help us to build interactive web applications with the flow of data from the component to the element and also from the element to the component from the both ends in many cases user will not only just view the information or data on the website or web application but also the user will interact with these uh, applications or websites using different user action like click keystrokes and change events so let's do an example where we will bind an on click event to the button element so we will create a button login and right here we will create a click event click and it will be equals to on on click and now we will create this property on the body.component.ts file so after this ng on init we will type on click double brackets and then curly brackets and then we will type alert brackets and inside here we will type you are logged in or logged in and add a semicolon at the end so right here uh, when the user click on the button event binding listen to the button click uh, click event and call the component on click method which is right here on click method so if you go to our browser and then click on this login button as you can see right here event binding listen to the button click event and call calls the component on click method which is you are logged in now and guys you can also use interpolation in event binding let's do an example on that so for that what we will do we will create a button click here and then the click event will be equals to a method and the method name will be let's just say on click here add double brackets right there and now we will create this method on the body.component.ts file and after on click on click method we will type that name right here on click here and then we will type this dot click click message and we will create this property above here okay so first let's just type that we will type that you are my hero and now let's create this property right here it will be a public its name is click message and it will be equals to nothing add a semicolon at the end and now let's just add interpolation like this and we will type click and click message yes click message so when the user uh, click on this button angular ca calls the on click here method from the uh, click me component i mean the click here component which is this one so let's just test this if we click on this button click here and as you can see you are my hero 
so in this way you can use interpolation in event binding so guys sometime we also want uh, information about the event itself for example if that event is a click or a click or a mouse mouse click event or a, or a keyboard event if someone typed in a input type box so sometime we want that information too so how we will display that information or how we will know that what event this is so let's do and uh, example for the click event okay the mouse click event how we will show the mouse click event so we will create a button which will be click me and uh, so to show the click event uh, we will simply send in a parameter in the event handler so we will type dollar event and this is the special uh, variable for angular and this dollar event gives you all the information about the dom event so now that we are passing the parameter on click me method let's also add this in inside the method which is uh, on on click me brackets let's just uh, copy this add it down below and then we will type uh, console.log console.log and then instead of looping any text uh, any text data uh, we will log the event so just type event and also type event right right there and add a semicolon at the end and now if we go back to the browser as you can see right here the button is created we'll go to inspect elements go to console and now if we click on this button as you can see it all uh, shows you are my hero but it also shows the event information so it is basically a mouse event okay a mouse click event and here is all the information about the event here is all the x and y coordinates and you can see the type of the event is the click event which as you can see right here click and guys uh, you can also use uh, any of these information inside your application okay for example I can set the click message to the event dot type okay the type of the event so now if we save this and go back to the browser and now if we click on this click me button as you can see right here oops okay as you can see right here it shows click so it means that the type of the event is clicked as you can see right here so you can also access the event data by using these methods okay this method so let's just uh, show the layer x data of this event so if we change the type to layer x okay the x coordinate and once it reloads and now if we click on this button click me it says 344 four. and as you can see right here the layer x value is 344 four. so you can show any of the data about the event by using these method so guys i think uh, this is it for all about the event binding in angular and i hope you understand how the event binding works in angular so thank you guys for watching and subscribe our channel coding cafe and press the bell icon to stay tuned